Today I'm going to be reviewing this Pawools cordless vacuum cleaner that was recently sent to me by the brand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this up, show you everything that you're going to get inside. And then I'm going to actually test it out and see how powerful the suction actually is going to be here on my vehicle. So this is what's going to come inside. So it is going to come with an extra filter. It's going to come with attachments that you can use for the end. So it's just going to have the end like this. And this attachment is just going to kind of slide right inside if you want to use this one. I'm going to use the pointy one as that one's typically will be better for suction. Now this is going to be a cordless one. So it does come with the charger as well that you can use to charge it up with. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here. And then let's go ahead and test it out and see how well it sucks. This is all just going to be like loose dust and dirt. So this should be the easiest thing for a vacuum to be able to suck up. So that's why I'm going to be testing out on this. This is actually going to be like a plastic um, floor mat cover. So it's going to be, should, should come off of there really easy. It's not like down in the grain or anything like that. So let's see how well this is going to work. To turn it on, you're just going to take and push on this. It does have a little light here on the front. As you can see, you can turn that on or off by pushing that button. And so let's see how well it sucks. So as you can see, it does have really good amounts of suction on there. Like it actually sucked all of that completely clean on this section where I did it at. So that's definitely a really, really good amount of suction. I'm actually really pleased with that. Oftentimes when you get these little small ones, they're not going to have a ton of suction. So now let me go ahead and go over to my other vehicle that actually has carpet and see how well it sucks on the carpet itself. So I'm going to try and do this here with the sunlight. So you can see there's going to be a good amount of dust on the carpet. So let's see how well this handles that. So if you turn it up a little bit and then just go back and forth on that section there, it does have a good amount of suction on there and it is getting it off. Obviously, if you turn it like flat like this, it's not going to get off much. It's just going to kind of bounce it around. But if you do just kind of turn it a little bit sideways like this, you are able to get out a decent amount of the dirt and such. Now, it isn't doing as good as, say, a, um, a regular vacuum one, like a regular, like a household vacuum with that. It's just not going to have enough suction for that. But it is working quite well, as you can see. So overall, definitely a pretty good cordless vacuum. It's not going to be have as much suction as, like I said, a big vacuum will. But this is working really, really nicely on there to be able to suck it up. Pardon my cat in the background. Um, but you can see where I actually use that in comparison to where I did not. So you can see here exactly where I stopped vacuuming at it as I was just going through the section here. And so it actually does work really, really nicely in getting that out, even with this little, the uh, little straight one. And you can see all of the dust and the dirt that is inside of there. 